coming to you from our GIS studios. I am Alicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. In celebration of Creole Heritage Month, the Monsignor Patrick Anthony Folk Research Center, FRC, held a Kudme at Mont Pleasant. The Folk Research Center was established in 1973 as a repository for cultural heritage as well as research and study of St. Lucia's rich heritage and housed an extensive library of publications, audiovisual recordings and photographs. The FRC's home on March 25, 2018 was destroyed by fire. The Kudme consisted of members of FRC, the National Youth Council, Duke of Edinburgh members and other volunteers. The FRC's executive director noted that a property development committee has been put in place to oversee the reconstruction of the Folk Research Centre at Mount Pleasant. Ms. Victor expressed gratitude to all those who participated in the Kudme. The Kudme took place on Saturday, October 5, 2019. The Ministry of Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development is getting set to host the Caribbean Secondary Schools Festival. The biannual festival is being held this year under the theme Les Puy Theatre, The Spirit of Theatre. The Caribbean Secondary Schools Drama Festival is the first and only performing arts exchange program for secondary schools in the Caribbean region. Members of the National Management Team are in the process of finalizing plans to host the festival. Deputy Executive Director of the Cultural Development Foundation, Celeste Burton, says it is an opportunity to encourage drama and theater arts in school. Various workshops will form part of the festival as well as performances by participating countries on a nightly basis. Shakira Robert Sankar is the Deputy Director of the Theatre Arts School Association. She hopes the festival is the beginning of a new outlook on what theatre can do in schools and society. The festival will be held from the 3rd to the 9th of November 2019 at the National Cultural Centre. On Thursday, October 17, 2019, the Events Company of St. Lucia Inc. along with the St. Lucia Electricity Services, Lucilec, presented prizes to eight junior Calypsonians from across the island who participated in this year's National Schools Calypso competition and captured the winning titles. Some 19 schools participated, both at the primary and secondary levels, with four schools from each category emerging winners. Each of the winners in the primary schools category received one Fire 7 tablet and a protective case along with one set volume limiting headphones. Each of the winners in the secondary schools category received one Fire HD 8 tablet with protective case. The National Schools Calypso competition was organized in collaboration with the Cultural Development Foundation, CDF. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.